make this short and sweet. Basically, earlier this morning, uh, there, was, there was a press conference and they said that there was a helicopter on scene that sustained damage. We are trying to confirm that. Uh, that's not actually the exact quote. They talked about may or may not. There may or may not have been a helicopter that sustained damage. Now, that's strange considering that this could very likely be a missile. Somebody has a very nice video here that I'm going to show you. Now, this is seconds before the explosion, around 30 seconds in this video. It is a little bit uh, widened so that I can kind of show you the distance here. But we're going to hit play. Now I'm going to run it up. And basically, right before the explosion, we're going to see uh, a light source, which is clearly not, um, not coming from this fire. I'm going to try to get it. All right, just a second. Yeah, you see it coming from the left there. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to try to pause it on there. All right, come on. Let's get this on there. All right, you see that light source? That cannot be accounted for by this fire. There is no way, okay? Even if you said there was some flame that shot out from underneath, like somehow shot out like this or whatever, where's the, where's the light here? It's coming from over here. This is clearly a missile, okay? So... Put this out there. Helicopter, and you're going to tell me that they can't confirm if a helicopter went down? I mean, there's all the news people. They got to know if the helicopter went down. There's the police. They got to know if the helicopter went down. What was this? This was some military helicopter fired an explosive. They didn't realize how powerful the explosion was going to be in the fertilizer plant. So large was it that it took out the helicopter. Morbid, morbid satisfaction there. Hi everybody, today is April 18th, 2013. Yep, if you heard that they were holding a drill the same day as the explosion there in Texas, you would be correct. This is only a drill, and here's an update about that drill. Due to the events in West Texas last night, North Hills Hospital and the NCTT RAC have chosen to cancel today's emergency preparedness drill. Many of the same resources planned for the drill have already been deployed to West to help care for the victims down there. Now according to their Facebook page it was a regional exercise called Black Rain. The scenario was for North Central Texas region is impacted by a radiological catastrophe at Kamakachi Peak nuclear power plant. On their website it says it was to be a full-scale exercise called Black Rain. The North Central Texas region is impacted by a radiological catastrophe at Kamakachi Peak Nuclear Power Plant. The blast and residue fallout results in many injuries and fatalities within the immediate hazard area and densely populated DFW Metroplex area is affected by blackouts and rolling blackouts due to loss of power generation. Blast and fallout damage results in a critical taxing of the medical community and generates a potential need for medical evacuation and vast number of worried well within the metropolitan population. Region 2 of the Texas Emergency Medical Task Force EMTF must activate and deploy its ambulances, AMBUS and MMU strike team to assist in the first response and contamination monitoring of efforts of the medical community. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims, loved ones, and first responders affected by this terrible tragedy. I'd like to know what's with the Super Bowl signs along the outside perimeter of their buildings. North Hill Hospital is proud to be hosting one of the largest emergency preparedness drills ever held in the state of Texas this week. We will be partnering with the North Central Texas Trauma Regional Advisory Council and first responders from throughout North Texas to test our equipment and processes so when a real disaster happens we'll all be ready to respond. Now this is what they had posted before it was canceled. This drill is even timelier in the wake of the bombings at Monday's Boston Marathon. Our prayers go out to the victims involved and we are proud of the first responders, EMS, fire, police, race workers, and hospital staff who so bravely cared for the injured. Well, they didn't mention the special forces that were there, did they? 
If you live near North Hills Hospital, you will see a lot of activity in our parking lot over the next three days. As the NCTTRAC sets up a mobile 140-bed hospital, along with dozens of ambulances, several ambus, multiple patient ambulances, and helicopters. And this is only a drill. And we'll simulate a hospital evacuation, kind of like a nursing home, huh? That they did have to evacuate there in West Texas. Something that might be necessary in the event of a tornado, a hurricane, earthquake, or prolonged power failure. Setup for the drill will take place Tuesday and Wednesday, with the drill occurring on Thursday. At no time will regular patient care be affected, as the drill will use only active patients and will be confined to non-patient care areas and the parking lot. Tune into our Facebook page. Now the Facebook page is for North Hills Hospital and it reads due to the events in West Texas last night North Hills Hospital and the NCTTRAC have chosen to cancel today's emergency preparedness drill. Many of the same resources planned for the drill have already been deployed to the West to help care for the victims down there. Our thoughts and prayers go to the victims, loved ones, and first responders affected by this tragedy. So they are already setting up and getting ready for this drill, and they have six photos here. It says, setting up for the large-scale drill today, building a 140-bed mobile hospital in our parking lot. Drill will take place Thursday morning. Here's another image of that. You can see the different buildings. Here it shows the mobile medical unit. Another image of the portable 140 bed mobile hospital. Another image of the portable hospital. And another one. So wasn't it just a coincidence that they were doing this 80 miles away? So they could have been there in an hour and a half with all this equipment. Boy, were they lucky. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. This is a Fox News alert from Washington, D.C. I'm Elizabeth Pran. A violent explosion rocking a fertilizer plant in the town of West, about 20 miles outside of Waco, Texas. The entire plant becoming engulfed in flames. It happened just before 8 p.m. Central Time at West Fertilizer. That's the name of the plant outside of Waco. One witness reportedly describing a giant fireball shooting into the sky when this all happened. Another claiming to have heard the blast from a as far away as 45 miles from the scene. Fox News that they're dealing with major injuries. In fact, we heard reports that up to 60 people have been to one hospital alone. Multiple structures and vehicles are also destroyed. We're told all available first responders are at the scene or they are heading to the scene, as well as six helicopters. We're hearing from local media and Waco reporting there may be there may be people or excuse me they may be trapped in nearby nursing homes or apartment buildings, and that includes children. Children, but please keep in mind that Fox News has not independently confirmed that information. Evacuations are underway at numerous buildings nearby. We are hearing reports of major power outages uh, in the surrounding communities. We also know a number of triage centers have been set up close by to treat those affected by the potentially very toxic smoke. Uh, in fact, we have heard from Governor Rick Perry on this incident. He had released a statement saying that we are monitoring developments and gathering information as well as details. They continue to emerge about this incident. We have also mobilized state resources to help local authorities. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people of West and the first responders on scene. Now keep in mind we are monitoring this major explosion that has occurred at a fertilizer plant in the city of West. That's in Hillsborough.